So welcome to part three of the Suzuki GSX-R 750 build project series. Now mostly it's been performance upgrades so far, but this time is a little bit different because we're gonna get the bike protected. So I've got my tools, I've got the parts, let's get on into it. So protecting my bike was really, really important to me. Um, and obviously this series is about making the bike as good as it can be as a 50% road bike, 50% track bike. And obviously, you know, on track you're pushing more. And I guess I'm sort of not of the mindset that it'll never happen to me because I know this sort of stuff happens. I can make mistakes, people can make mistakes. And, you know, whether that's yourself or whether that's somebody else, um, and protecting a, you, protecting this bike was just a bit of a no-brainer to me and probably falls into the reasons why I wear all the best knocked protection as well is that you know sometimes things can happen and you're just not always in control of that or sometimes you make mistakes um, so basically I've gone with RNG uh, for the protection now RNG have been around for forever I think they were the real pioneers of this sort of protection for motorcycles They've been around for a long time. They've got a massive reputation, and um, you know I've already put the the crash bombs on the bike, but now is the time to take it a little bit further. So I've got a whole box full of stuff. Um, I've got engine case covers. I've got uh, that's fork protectors. I've got swing arm protectors. I've actually got a lever guard as well, and we're going to be fitting all this stuff uh, as part of this video. But before I do that. Um, I thought it'd be quite interesting to weigh it all because I'm sort of keeping a bit of a tally about how much weight I'm adding or taking away because um, it's an interesting thing to do as part of this project to know whereabouts roughly I am in terms of weight. So let's get on and do that. So I've had to like double check it a few times because I just couldn't believe it the first time. Now I knew these parts were light but I didn't expect as light as they are. So the, you've got obviously two uh, engine covers You've got uh, cotton reels, we've got swing arm protection, we've got um, mirror blanking off kit, and you've got fork protectors, and also the brake lever guard. And I can't believe it, that it, it comes to like a kilo, which I just think is phenomenal. Um, phenomenally lightweight I mean this is adding like zero weight to the bike unbelievably I mean that's the difference between me having like a healthy breakfast and a full English on the way at the track day so you know I sort of like discount all this weight uh, gain stuff it does it you know these pipes are like uber lightweight so there's absolutely no compromise in terms of what you're giving up in terms of performance so let's get on and fit them without further ado
So we're all fitted now and we've been on it about an hour. So none of this stuff that I fit is uh, difficult. You know, I've done a bit more on my bike recently, as you can tell, uh, suspension, blah, 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 blah. But I am no, uh, by no means a mechanical expert. I'm very much learning. All this stuff was super easy. Anybody could do it with a few Allen keys and a few different bits and pieces. So let me just take you through bit by bit what I fitted. First things that I fit uh, from the back will go to the front. New cotton reels, but not only cotton reels, actually the ones that came off the bike were these metal ones that um, the previous owner had previously fit. But actually, you know, having never taken these off, you kind of see what goes on uh, from a previous owner and he sort of shorn the, the end of the bolt off. So actually that wasn't very far into the uh, thread, so um, potentially not very good. Um, these RNG ones now are not only going to be uh, good for putting a paddock stand on, but of course they've also got your protection on it as well. So if I do low side or whatever, that's providing extra protection for the swing arm. And they're basically just chunkier for the uh, for the paddock stand to grip hold of. So very good, and they've got a really nice long bolt in it. Actually, it comes out the other side as well, so that's super strong super good next thing as i move across is the engine cover uh, engine casing protectors both left and uh, right now these were probably the main thing i was um, sort of considering as, as, as beefy protection now obviously i've got the crash bobbins which were already fitted but these ones, I seen a guy at the uh, Bike Shed Race Festival that we did um, gosh, more than a year ago now, and he had a low side, and actually what he did is he scuffed pretty much the whole side of his engine casing off uh, in, in a little crash, and that was sort of duct taped it back up again, but it looked pretty thin. I'm not too sure about it. These ones, I think, are fantastic. Obviously, they weigh nothing, as we've, as we've kind of shown, but this, for me... Um, you know, if you're going to have a low side, this is something that's going to get hit, either the one on the left or the right. And is the difference between me sort of spilling liquids all over the tracks, um, which is clearly not very good. But it also mean would mean as well that I'd need to go home um, because once you run through your engine casings, then it's, it's day over, basically. Whereas a nice strong one like this, um, I've got the chance to continue riding or actually when we do Euros as well, which we're hoping to do, that's a three day trip. And if obviously I have a low side on the first day, go through my engine casings, that's holiday over. Whereas one of these would just enable me to get back up and running. So they're really good and they fit very well. Next thing that we've got is a brake lever protector. Now, whether you're aware of this or not depends on... Um, what sort of forums you're involved in and stuff. But uh, from 2021, in the UK anyway, it's mandatory that you have one of these on your bike. So sort of following the MotoGP thing, where they don't want people knocking into your brake lever and you flying down the road at a million miles an hour over the front of your bike. Um, these are mandatory now. So you turn up to a track day without one of these, you won't be able to ride. So get yourself one of these. Um, and this just goes in dead easy as well. It's a real nice little unit. And then on the front, and this was super cool, this was actually the, the easiest and quickest thing to fit, was the fork protectors. It literally just slides right through the spindle and then just tightens up. And I think that is a fantastic little addition there in terms of protection. Again, if I'm to low side and I grind one of the, uh, the nuts off the side of this front wheel, man, that is an absolute nightmare. Not only is that going to mean that you know, I've got damage on my bike, but it's going to make it much harder to take the front wheel off as well. And that's going to be really, really uh, difficult and challenging. So this little thing is going to save any of that sort of damage, if you know what I mean. And oh, did I say last? Um, actual last is these um, mirror blanking, uh, the mirror blanking kit. Now, when I'm on track, every time I've gone on, I've always taken my mirrors off. Um, in my own experience, you've got enough going on on the track day um, without looking behind you. You do not need, there's enough going on, you don't need to be looking behind you. Just whip your mirrors off and this obviously just tidies the whole thing up. You look great on camera 
and all that kind of stuff. And actually, a little uh, sort of coincidental thing, um, by taking the mirrors off, we've actually just weighed them and they're weighing in at 1.1 kilos. So in terms of weight, I've paid for all of this extra protection just by taking the mirrors off and putting these blanket kits on. So very good. So now we're gonna take it outside and show you what she looks like uh, in the nice sunset that we've got. So look, really hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll put all the links in the description for all the RNG parts that are fitted to the bike. And you know, check out the stiff that we make and we protect ourselves on test two. Please like, please comment, please subscribe, and we'll see you next time.